हेलो दोस्तों नमस्ते एंड वेलकम बैक टू प्ले मेकर वन सेकेंड श्रीमान रणवीर इज ऑन आवर चैनल एंड इट्स kind of i'm i'm kind of sad to be honest yaar because ye jo situation tha trivand ranveer ka yeah. abhi tak solve nahi hua hai and uh, that's why he had no option than to leave india and look for other opportunities elsewhere so he might be heading to i think europe next week uh, when you are heading first of all welcome to the channel trivand bhai thank you so thank much you for joining bro. us thank today thank you for having me and uh, i just want to hear from you guys when you are leaving for europe and also what uh, went down after the after math of you know you trying to apply your visa you're trying to apply to a passport how how that folded up at last and uh, the game time also because we do yeah. want to know ki how many matches you played officially or non officially practice matches and how was it in compared to the european stuff also and how uh, what's the future what's uh, the next thing ithriman ranveer is going to do um first of all thank you for having me musa it's been a long time uh, it's always yeah. a pleasure to be a playmaker <laughs> Um to answer your first question I'm leaving actually tonight um at 3 a.m. I'm leaving to Delhi airport and I have my flight tomorrow at uh, 10:45 mm-hmm. so at 8 um, a.m. I'll be at Delhi airport and uh, leaving towards Belgium yeah I have no reason to stay and wait I mean I've been here 6 months um waiting patiently for my passport going from one office to the other office without any results and uh, it's been a quite a difficult time for me But yeah, um I had no other choice. I mean, these six months I have played, I think I came the 12th of March, I arrived in India with high hopes with my father with three suitcases and a dream. But yeah. it's cut short and um yeah, I mean, I expected different outcome but in a way I did expect this also. I mean, after all it's India and uh, we know what India is uh, known for. So, I mean, yeah, it's really disappointing it had to end this way but like i said in the video and in the post i mean it's uh, it's not a goodbye it's a see you later i would say so i mean once the rules change or once i see an opportunity where i can prove myself and um, show my talent and maybe get selected for the national team i would be the first one in the line and coming back but at this moment and point of time i cannot um, waste my career by sitting around these six months i haven't played any official games i have because they don't allow any foreigners in state league or like any leagues at all anymore the day, the year that i came they changed the rules for one or other reason so i couldn't play anything and if i played against those like training scrimmage games against like like nothing special maybe like one uh, game against namtari from the i league the the corporate uh, the team that uh, bought to himself in the i league and one against tektro Uh, mm-hmm. I league two, which I scored two goals against in one game. It was my first game in India, and um, at that point I was fitter. I felt more alive, had more game time in me, and I was more in form. And I proved myself against the I league second division team. First time ever playing a game in India, scoring two goals in 45 minutes and scoring last minute winner. And then I had like high hopes. I mean, if I can do this, the first time playing after that long time against an I league second division team, what can I do if I play often? But after mm-hmm. that, it went really downhill. I haven't played any games. It's not the fault of Ranjit Bajaj or any other people. It's just the rules and the situation. He tried his best to allow me play many games as possible. I played against the World Cup batch, 2034. I played Nam Tari again, um, Tektro, Swiss United, Lucknow, um, reserve team a bit, playing against them, and sometimes with Delhi FC against the reserve or with the reserves against Delhi FC. Mm-hmm. but bro six games in six months you cannot do anything that that's a fact <coughs> that's a fact i would say and i still remember the first conversation i had with you not the first conversation yeah. you can say when we met face to face uh i still remember we we were at dubai mall and i told that uh yeah. what you're gonna do if this it doesn't fall in places i mean like if the plan doesn't work out and you were like i have i have uh other plans also and surely i told that time that you have talent and surely you can find many other opportunities also in europe or anywhere else in the world so right now you are focused on getting back on your feet again getting back into the competitive game and competitions so mm-hmm. what's what's the next move of sriman ramit right now what what is he thinking exactly i um i've already uh, off got a contract uh, with the team i'm going to sign once i get back and i'll announce it on my page uh, as soon as possible i cannot um, disclose anything right now at this moment but uh, Uh, personally i've uh, we've talked and you know and i think uh, it's a exactly. good move yeah. it's uh it's good for me at this point of time especially i need game time so um and i also had a limited time once i was in belgium to find a club so i made the best out of it and i'm quite happy with my decision where i'll be signing um 
tomorrow or the day after and i'll be announcing it uh, as soon as possible so yeah i'm just really glad to be back home after two years not being in belgium last year i was in the netherlands where i played for an academy so i mean yeah it's it's been a long time since being uh, away from my family and uh, i'm glad to be back in a sense um, and just yeah playing football the thing i enjoyed because to be honest i haven't been enjoying football lately the last six months i fell a bit out of love with the game and uh you cannot play in that way you have to be enjoying yourself and then you can put the best out of you and show your qualities but uh yeah it's been a really tough time mentally and uh, physically also exactly so, yeah i'm really happy to be back in a sense yeah yeah so it's going to be uh it's it's going to be somewhere in europe and he's surely i think so uh there will be a lot of chance for him in future i just hope that indian and the aiff wicks up in, and gives chances to Belgium, deserving you can even say yeah in belgium, belgium yeah in belgium i don't want to disclose it yet so i was no, like no, no, anyway, no. somewhere in, in belgium <laughs> I've, i've told you because i've told you i'm going home i'm happy to be home so europe is yeah. quite uh, big yeah. so i'm so it's really going to be belgium to somewhere in belgium, belgium. Yeah. surely a team is waiting for this lad and surely we'll we'll see you we will see you we will be trying to get in touch with you again and watching your videos trying to get uh, you know a live stream or something like that and uh, yeah it's, it's going to be fun to be honest i just i just wanted something good to come out of your tour to india but you know it's luck and uh, it's fate I mean, sometimes i'm i've gained a lot bro even this i've gained this bro i mean i could have been a nobody who came and then of uh, then what would have been then i mean now i've all uh, i could say i have fans now um is a waiting to say i haven't i'm still trying to be humble even though i'm not a big player or anything but still uh, i'm getting a lot of recognition lately and one point of time i could say i was the most talked about player in the whole of india which is the biggest country in the world so yeah, exactly. i mean that's um, something i've gained and i have much uh, respect for everybody who is helping me so um, yeah i mean i have respect for everybody that helps me and supported me from the beginning i mean i think i have so many dms you have no idea i think up to 10000 easily i mean so that's many nice. messages bro that's easily. nice that's nice i, I yeah. think you deserve it kind of you deserve it because i think you were the only player who didn't just talk but came to india and uh, was yeah. ready to give up his passport and stuff but again uh, you know the future is going to be very bright i just hope and uh, let's see let's see what uh, how the future unfolds mm-hmm. uh no he didn't join minerva he was training with delhi fc right you, you didn't join any No, I didn't um, sign anything. I signed yeah. with Rajit Bajaj sir as agent and representative, like he was my agent at one point of time. But I didn't sign with any club or anything like that. I mean, I just trained with them, and I didn't see any point in signing with Minerva, which is an academy. And yeah, yes, uh, not for me. Yeah. Uh, so this question I can answer, but I want to hear it from you that you could have played as a foreigner in Delhi FC. I know why you couldn't, but yeah, you just. You can explain it to the. Um, first of all, um, it was due to lack of game time. I mean, three foreigners. The new rules again. They changed rules again that only three players can play, and then two have to be on the bench. And with the player they have signed, uh, with much more experience than me, much more length than me, much more strength than me, and and every part they are overall better than me. To be honest, uh, it's not that I couldn't cope at the level. I mean, still it was quite difficult because I haven't played any games six months. And then. trialing stress training with the uh, Delhi FC boys it was really difficult for me with the climate everything and packed all together with the lack of game time the difficulty and the players that i was com- competing with it was really difficult and at the end of the day uh, i spoke with the gcer and i think also because of the lack of game time that i would have gone and get them it had no point in signing with them i would just stay on the bench and even if i play i play 10 15 minutes it has no point I mean exactly. my development is on jeopardy and I think it's better for me I just go back and I never came to India to sign a professional contract or sign with the club I mean I came for the national team mostly so I mean exactly. I tried even because I knew how to go I didn't tell anybody I tried maybe to work out a contract with the club to keep everybody happy mm-hmm. and myself and my family to have some kind uh-huh. of result coming back but I couldn't um, couldn't gain anything of it, and uh, I think I made the best decision. And Rajiv sir and me sat down, and uh, he thought this was the best, just going back for the moment. Yeah, uh, nostalgic Manu. He is already in India. <laughs> he was here for last six seven months, but nothing came out of it. So यहाँ पे अभी वो वापस यूरोप जा रहे हैं. Yeah, exactly, man. Uh, Triva, Triman, boy, go and conquer Europe. Best of luck. Uh, we are just wishing him best of luck. A love from Saint Trinidad uh, is 
Okay, how to write? Oh yeah, Sindrad is in Belgium. It's in Belgium. Yeah, yeah. My uncle is there, so I don't know who it is. Okay. Oh yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Arsh, Arsh, score. Okay. Three months. Don't feel bad. Aryans, yeah. I understand your young journey exactly. Yeah, they got one more. One more thing, I want to hear from you. The matches you played. Yeah. the exposure you got in india i know it was very less in compared to what you will get outside yeah. but still what are the positives and what are the negatives you will take back to europe and back to belgium mm. i mean i've got to mature i mean since i came to india i've changed a lot as a person in the being independent and just learning to grow as a person i mean the last six months have been difficult really mentally But I think as a man, if you want to develop and as a person, I think it's really important to have some difficult times in you and uh, to have some story that you can tell your kids later and that uh, struggle you've went through to become the person you are later. Mm -hmm. So I believe I'm glad it happened. You know, uh, everything happens for a reason. And I believe I grew God um, as the best in store for me. So I think, um, yeah, maturity and just growing as a person and learning from the difficulties and uh, Then once I become a player, I know what I worked for and what I sacrificed, and uh, it will be much sweeter then. So uh, that's what I gained from India. Yeah. Acha, acha, okay, nice. Boy, I say comment mat dal. Koi yahan pe bhag tarega, bahut pelega fir. Don't want to get in that. Uh, he didn't left the Belgian nationality. He has uh, the Belgian nationality. He has the Belgian passport yet. Um, आगे बढ़ते हैं स्पीक्स पंजाबी एंड इंग्लिश बाय द वे ओके फ्रेंच फ्रेंच यू यू कैन यू आल्सो एट लीस्ट ट्राइड वी आर हैप्पी ब्रो सम ऑफ इंडियन ओरिजिन प्लेस जस्ट जोकिंग विद अस दे केम टू दे वांट टू कम दे से आई एम प्राउड इंडियन बट दे डिडंट कम इंडिया अच्छा ओके या राइट देर आर मेनी प्लेस लाइक दैट Me too, uh, Triman. Boy, extremely outstanding player. Fear, we are worried that our past is not there. And that's what we do always, right? Nasrulli, uh, boy, uh, he hasn't made any scene. He tried his best, but you know, in future, we will see what happens. Triman, need your honest opinion. What's the difference between Belgium academies and football compared to India? Where we stand in terms of global competitiveness compared to earlier? Yeah, now you have you have you came to India in a kind of both sector. We are booming right now. Yeah, you yeah. see, there there is a there is a big difference in what we were uh, a year ago and right now. The team, the national team, also the academic players, also the Minerva Academy, also now they are producing good kind of players. Now, if you if you really be neutral and think about it, how do you think how we are panning out exactly? Um, honestly, uh, I mean, I expect it worse. Uh, I'm completely honest. I expected it to be much easier. Um, I mean, since I came, I'm really impressed by the quality of players. But I think it has more to do with the lack of training quality and um, philosophy and this kind of thing, more technical stuff, than mm-hmm. about the players. I mean, if they get the right coaching, I think they can do really good things. You can see with the World Cup badge at one and uh, with the proper coaching, what they can achieve globally. So I believe um, India has a lot of possibility in the future to. Um, Amazing stuff and achieve big things, but to be there, you have to be much more better go rounds, more investment in uh, facilities, much more better coaching, more licensed coaches, goalkeeper coaches, and more technical stuff it has to improve. And uh, Belgium is much more ahead in that uh, department, and the quality of training is much better, even at lower levels. So I mean, they take it more serious. I think uh, the government helps also. You can find in every village. You can imagine is an is a is a artificial ground. Mm-hmm. Belgium is roughly the size of Punjab, and you could imagine every village having a an artificial ground, one or two. So yeah, yeah. There there are many differences. Yes, there are many differences. But we are slowly getting over there, and yeah. uh, it's it's going to get. I think again, four five years down the road, we might <laughs> we might get, uh, you know, a bit better. But yeah, we are just trying our best. Let's see what happens. Uh, do well, all the best, says Casimiro Fernandez. Uh, thank you so much, Casimiro, bhai. Atletico Bir City. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, congratulations, ABS Football. <laughs> I was not expecting that, by the way. Acha, <laughs> uh, uh, this chat is for Truman. How Ghat? 
did not hear. Yeah, it's spelled really wrong, but I understand what he's trying to say. Acha, acha, acha. What does it mean, by the way? How, <laughs> I don't know. How, how are uh, how are you doing? But acha, it's spelled okay. really really incorrectly. <laughs> but uh, <I'll... laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, Athias, boy, grammatical mistakes ho gaye aapke. <laughs> uh love you ranveer bro are thank you so much very much uh can india win the asian cup it's out of the question to be honest yaar abhi tak nahi wo level pe hame nahi hai abhi tak let's say positive let's say positive <laughs> yeah let's say, let's say let's say positive but it's, it's kind of a very they can try they have a chance yeah, they can try, they can yeah. try. uh koi i league acha you get you got any 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 offers from the i league club you got any offer from i mean i had del fc but i i haven't heard any names but i i know ranjisha got some calls uh, he didn't tell the clubs but he told me that some clubs were interested in that because some phone calls but i don't know mm-hmm. which clubs so i haven't asked and uh, so i wasn't really bothered with clubs actually i was just trying to get the passport and that was um, ranjit sir is the the partner okay 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 uh, okay triman bhai all the best is saying uh, one day he will play for india we wish him that i hope uh Triman brother wish to see you represent India in the future we all are hoping that bhai <laughs> now uh, this is this is something uh, triman ranveer ek din lukaku lukaku ko replace karega belgium mein best of luck <laughs> inshallah <laughs> yeah if he doesn't get an indian passport he'll he can try if he hits the peak soon surely why not i mean i i had one under 15 camp uh, with them so i mean that's the best i've done so Yeah, let's see. You know, still there are lo- lots of doors to get opened in the future. So I mean, I'm know. I'm wearing the Andrei jersey, jersey, so that game you bring me some luck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe later in future he may be with a World Cup team. Ah, why not? Acha, he you play Dream in big. the LV. You you play in the left wing and the striker, right? And right wing, bro. I can. I I I, I depend on the team. I mean, really, sometimes I notice I'm much better on the winger. something uh-huh. on the strike I, i don't have any position this forward attacking wise i'm uh, i'm just good in front of goal that's the main thing that okay you can play anywhere in the front three that's the thing right yeah uh how tough it was for you to adapt the game play here because the games are very open rather than more tactical like in belgium yes this is kind of a good question by the way it's it's physical with less quality sometimes um hmm. playing especially when you, with the ground sometimes it's not really good and it's just really just playing hard without any idea behind it and just playing without any thought behind your pass sometimes that i notice but because everybody plays like that i have to also play like that and then it's just not my way of playing so it's been really difficult uh, in that sense but i mean i'm getting there slowly but surely hmm. But it's quite, uh, especially the climate, bro. It's the, the most difficult thing. I I remember my first two trial games with Delhi FC. I was, bro. I don't. I'm proud saying this. But I had to puke, bro. It was so hot. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't even. But the first two games, it was so difficult. I mean, the first game, I after 20 minutes, I was finished. And it's not like I wasn't fit. I mean, my yoyo was still solid. But the mm-hmm. match was really difficult. But I was tired, bro. And then mm-hmm. after the second game, after 45 minutes, I could complete the game. But then. The, the, I was just finished, bro. I cannot explain how difficult it was physically. But mm-hmm. then after a while, I started getting there. Fitness-wise, was good. But then with the ball at the feet, I wasn't there yet because I haven't played any games for so long. So I mean, just, I was just a bit off. I was like a rough diamond. <laughs> And you can say that. Just it needs some polishing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone needs that, right? Uh, so Shivam, boy, Triman is going because his passport has not been scenario made yet. But in future, let's see if he comes back. Uh, अरे यार ये ये कौन है आई गोर रजनीकांत टाइम है ये कौन है भाई ये पक्का कोई पुराना चावल है <laughs> आ, नहीं सुबल भाई नहीं ऐसी कोई बात नहीं यार आ, <coughs> नहीं आई डोंट थिंक सो ही शुड बी प्लेइंग इन द स्टेट लीग वैसे भी अभी स्टेट लीग्स में द फॉरेनर्स आर नॉट अलाउड सो इट्स इट्स आउट ऑफ द ऑप्शन अतरिमान भाई हैव यू मेट हजार्ड I played at this youth club um, but I haven't met him personally but I played at his club and uh, I played there for one year for IFC Tbilisi and uh, where his brother Kilian and uh, Torgan Azar played and Eden Azar himself so hmm. I mean I come from the same club That's nice and uh, I think special exception should be given to the CI players after watching their performance short period from 2 years to 1 year or 6 months This is not possible in India bro 
अच्छा वेयर डू यू लिव इन एंटवर्प और ब्रसेल्स आई रिमेंबर यू टोल्ड मी बट आई आई ब्रसेल्स आई विल आई लिव वन टाइप आई कैन से माय क्लब विल बी इन एंटवर्प एंड आई आई लिव इन ब्रसेल्स आई लिव नेक्स्ट टू ब्रसेल्स या आई एक्चुअली फाइव मिनट्स ऑन द एयरपोर्ट सो I'll be home quick. <laughs> no, Sankas, why he has no cards in FIFA 22 yet? But in future, we'll see that very very soon. Uh, acha. <laughs> okay, this guy saying he he saw the future, and when Changte becomes the goat, you are you are playing with Changte. <laughs> Bright future loading. <laughs> I think Changte will be playing with me. <laughs> <laughs> Come to India as soon as possible, bro. We need you. He's already in India, bro. अभी जाने का time हो गया, bro. अभी जाने का time हो गया. मैं बहुत लोगों को पता नहीं लगता है, but he's in India. Last छः सात महीने से India में था वो. अभी उसका जाने का time हो गया, bro. क्योंकि India का government ना help करा ना AIF help कर पा रहा, because Indian rules के वजह से. Plain simple rules है India के, and uh, you can't mend it. So that's the thing, bro. Uh, By the way, uh, hello, from my understanding, my father is also watching. He said me. So he's probably Achha. also watching. Yeah, in Belgium, he's home. He's watching on the TV. He's connected with the TV, and he's uh, sitting there in the sofa right now. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Uh, Sasri Kal, Papa ji, kaise ho aap? Uh, and yeah, and then you... I want to know more regarding uh, what exactly plans you have. I mean, like you're thinking about a single team, or it's going to be one step at a time. Uh, what do you mean? May I explain. I mean, I mean, I mean the next club, the club you are joining right now. So it's like you are joining the youth team, or is it the uh, is it the? I'm 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 joining the to start with with the reserve team because I didn't have a lot of time to train with them. So they said you can start with the reserve team, and uh, well, I mean if it goes well, I can start joining training with the first team and just getting first in the first team, team and uh, playing at a high uh, level in Belgium. And uh, I'll start with the reserve team. I mean it's mm. normal for a player of my age in Belgium to play reserve team. So exactly, I mean, um, I'm not that. Yeah, so I'll play yeah. reserve team. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So now, right now, you you got in touch with the club, or it was like the club got in touch with you. How how did that uh, pan out? I um I went to Belgium. I was like when I knew I went to Belgium to for two three weeks for personal reasons. Um, mm. and then I said okay, let me also get a plan B, and uh, because it was also looking a bit sketchy, so <laughs> I said let me go back and uh, sort myself a plan B because otherwise I don't have any club. Imagine I went back now without any club. Yeah, it's fucked. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> But then I had uh, no idea what to do. Then I went back and uh, I contacted few clubs, and um, they was most interested in my profile. And mm-hmm. I could travel with them um, as, as soon as possible. They said you can come tomorrow. Done. Uh, I went with my father. I uh, did a gruesome fitness test, and uh, I passed everything. And uh, I mean, I trained with uh, with them. So I mean, it went well. And uh, they said you can sign. Uh, we can start you with the reserve team if it has no problem. And uh, from there we will work uh, towards. Uh, More and uh, towards the first team, so I mean it was most interesting for me. So I um, yeah, it was a no-brainer, bro. I mean I didn't have any choice, so I had to yeah, take of course, of course. And, it's yeah. like see, uh, if I would be you, I would be doing the same thing because it's like it's it will be a no-brainer if I'm not getting any game time. And this is this is the time when I'll start growing my footballing skills, and uh, this is the time where I have to work hard. But when I'm not in a team, when I'm not playing any competitive matches, my peak will go down, and it will be like. I'm a footballer of no reason. Then it's like you are just warming the bench. You are just watching everyone play. You are just practicing, but you need game time. A competitive game time is very important to all the youth over here. And that's Correct. how that's that's why India is lacking because we are not getting competitive game time for our youths, right? If you look at the youth players, many of them are rotting on the IFL bench. Many of them are rotting on the uh, you know I League bench. They are not getting competitive game time. They are they are working hard on the pitch. They are working hard on the. uh on the training also right they are working hard in the re- yeah exactly in uh, reserve team also but the problem is when they are not getting game time they are not able to perform and that is why india is lacking in football and i just hope in future like the new leagues coming in you know something good comes out of it but yeah for you to rot in the reserves or just do trainings was not right to be honest a player of your potential and pedigree should be going out there performing Every week in week out, you should be you know training with the first team, with the reserve team, but of like a team where you can get a competitive game time, not I just training. Played, I haven't played a proper game since I don't know if you remember. I played like a Spain uh, tournament with my team. Uh, it was in January. Hmm. I haven't played any games in January properly. Oh. So I played my last tournament in Spain with like five games. We won all five. We scored six goals. It was the best I ever been. 
I was the most um, the most competitive at that point. After that, bro, downhill, and I haven't played any games. So January, how many months is that? Generally, like six, six, yeah. seven months. Six, six months to be honest. Yeah. After months, that, I haven't yeah. played any proper competitive games. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, so here is a comment for you. Punjab area. Kehra bro, apna. Acha, matlab, he's asking you from where, yeah, yeah, yeah. where you stay, right? Bro, ah, मैं है दुआबा पंजाब का मेरा पिंड है करनाना ये बंदा बंगा नवा शहर देखो अच्छा सो यू जस्ट नियर नेम्ड रैंडम सिटीज आई गेस नो इट्स इट्स नियर नियर जलंधर मे बी यू नो जलंधर अच्छा नियर या ऑफ कोर्स आई नो जलंधर या इट्स नियर जलंधर या आई नो आई नो फ्यू सिटीज फ्रॉम पंजाब बट आई डोंट नो एग्जैक्टली वेयर इट यू नो वेयर द प्लेसेस आर लाइक मोगा अमृतसर जलंधर Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. So I I know a few places. From you have there. you have, look. You have Punjab. It's like divided in three main parts. You have like the northern northwest part, like um, Madja is where Amritsar is, the Golden Temple, that part. And uh, then in the middle, you have more like Dwapa, more uh, where I'm from, Nawa Sher, Jalandhar, that type of cities. And south, you have like um, Malwa, is where Musial is from, and those kind uh-huh. of people. So yeah. they're from south. I'm from Middle Moor, and uh, that's kind of the idea. Uh huh. Uh Where are you from actually in India Mumbai or am Mumbai, I Mumbai yeah 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 Mumbai Mumbai I'm from Mumbai exactly I I've, I've been I've been to Chandigarh a lot because of uh, when when I was in college I used to play a bit of football and then I used to travel with the friends and stuff so I've been to Chandigarh twice or Chandigarh thrice Chandigarh is it's like ne- next to Punjab literally Yeah yeah I I never been to Punjab but the, I I've been to the the closest city I went was Chandigarh yes Chandigarh is uh, basically in Punjab so Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like we have lots of Punjabi people over there. The accent of the normal people are also Punjabi kind of thing, right? Li- literally, uh, from our ground to Maneva to Chandigarh is like five minutes. So, ah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. I think yes. Chandigarh is very close. I think Maneva is very close to Chandigarh. Yes. Uh, yeah, Trivand, have yeah. you have you talked to Shaji sir or Kalyan Chobe sir? You got a opportunity to talk with them or something in DM? They don't or... reply, bro. No, they they ignoring it. I heard from multiple people. They've messaged them. He uh-huh. saw the message, but he hasn't uh, hasn't said anything. So, uh-huh. yeah, bro. It's, I mean, it's up to him, bro. If he doesn't have the respect to re- at least reply after he did what he did with uh, yeah, Jan Danda, he replied after, and he's sitting in England, and I'm here, and he hasn't replied. So, I mean, it shows a lot about uh, what kind of person he is, so and what his priorities are. So, bro, mm. yeah. What can I say? Exactly. Three man looks like younger Milka Singh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bro. He's a legend, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Does any ISL team approach you for reserve team? Uh, I think you have answered all that. I think again. Uh, yeah, Kerala Blasters. Yeah, Kerala Blasters did exactly. Uh, football lovers, there is that. There is no chance of that. Uh, he already explained why. Uh, Doba is on top. Acha, Doba on top. Okay, okay, okay. Who so again, uh, it was Arsh Arsh Kaur saying that Doba on top. <laughs> yeah, I, I I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> so now I still think that Malwa on top, Malwa on top. <laughs> uh, no, always the Baba, bro. Yeah. Uh, best of luck, Ranveer, bro. By the way, which Indian national player has impressed you most in the recent time? Yeah, I wanted to ask you. You saw three tournaments, I think, so right? So I which? Mean, yeah. yeah, which player did surprise you? Which player was like, yeah, this this guy has a lot of potential, and which tournament was a surprising for you? I mean, I was impressed by Changte the most uh, on the right wing, the mostly, and um, I mean, Suno Chetri was always um, top notch, but yeah, it's yeah. no surprise. That's no surprise. But I think I yeah. really liked um, Changte. Yeah, he mm-hmm. impressed me the most. I didn't know much about him, but uh, especially him. Yeah. Yeah. So you have trained with Anwar Ali. You have trained yeah. with Himanshu Jangra. You have been training with many Indian Indian national players. So who really impressed you in training? Like the man who was like. A workhorse, you can say. I mean, they are all really good players. Um, my training with uh, I trained with Vikram Pratap Singh. I trained with uh-huh. Anur Ali. That I did one and Jagdeep Singh. Maybe you know him. He's from Rajasthan United. Um, the winger, the fullback. I mean, I mm-hmm. trained with. Uh, so I trained my first session with them, and we did a finishing session. And uh, I mean, I won. <laughs> I mean, I did uh, quite well. So I mean. I he's a defender, so I don't uh, think I should be too proud of that. And I mean, if I would do one one against one against him, uh, it would be a different story. But I mean, I'm really impressed uh, by Vikram Pratap. I mean, I saw the work he put in. Also in the training after the session, he did some physical runs and did some exercise, and I joined him. 
but I mean, just seeing the professionalism in those guys, it just inspires me. And I'm trying to keep track and just try to be as good as them and better. So I'm really working hard every day and just uh, learning from them as I'm going. I mean, I trained with, uh, I see Machu Dangra playing. I mean, that guy scores every training. So it's yeah. like a second nature to him. So, I mean, he's really good. Uh, I mean, I know I have the potential to be at least that good or even better, but at this point with the lack of game time, I'm suffering and I couldn't get the potential out of me. And so I couldn't show my best qualities to him and the other players. So, I mean, I, it's not a, it's not my fault. I mean, the situation was a bit bigger than me. So, yeah, I think everybody understands. Mm. Yeah. Right. Um, so moving forward, why government... <clears throat> can't allow OCI players to play for India. Why we are still stuck with the old rules? There are many OCs. <coughs> uh, dekho yaar, Satya, Satya Jay Bahuria bhai, yahan pe scenario from India is very clear that OCI ke card ke jo restriction hai, thode hai, ki bhai, wo entitled nahi hai, oot karne ke liye, na phir wo ek legislative assembly ke member ban sakte hai, na unke paas koji zada constitutional, you know, kind of, wo bhoat sare Anji. constitutional rights wagar ke baat hoti yaha pe. But yeah, they can add on the taxes, they can buy, you know, land, they can buy flats, jo bhi matlab humare India ke monetary benefits se wo kar sakte hai, but baaki ke benefits nahi kar sakte hai. I know there are lots of loophole in this ideas and rules, but it's the government of India, yaar. Aap kya hi bol sakte ho. You can't question them, right? They are the government. So that's the thing. It's better if you don't question them right now. Uh, yeah, I think you represented uh, Belgium at under 15 level or it was just like a camp? I, I did a camp. Yeah, you did with camp, the camp, yeah. right? Yeah. I haven't played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, also someone was asking, why do, don't you wear Parna Tarvan when you play football? It's it's I, it's of... Uh, I, I think you can't. You, uh, you I mean, can't be wearing that, right? It's, it's kind of... Uh, I would say... I mean, I wear. It, I, I mean, I wore it today. I mean, just for the interview, I took it out because I mean, this is the way everybody recognizes me on the football pitch, and this is my look. I mean, no, uh, on the. I mean, uh, the, on the football pitch, I think so. It's uh, not the right thing to you know uh, to wear because it's like no, it, it doesn't. Uh, it's, it's kind yeah. of a difficult thing to you know. But, but off the pitch, no, that's no, that's no point. Yeah, off the off pitch, pitch yeah, I'm wearing course, it though. Yeah. You can um, you can go on my social media. Yeah, I mean, I've, uh, seen. I've seen. I've seen. My partner. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Between the between the match, you can't wear that because it's very difficult. To because you have to I, respect that. Right? Look, I when mean, you wear I, that, you I've, have to respect made, I've made my look when I play. This is my costume in a sense. Yeah. I mean, people recognize me like this, and and when I do an interview, even I was wearing it, I took it off just to so people could recognize me as they saw on the pictures <laughs> and uh, on the previous life. Exactly. Musa, if you get a passport, all the Indian origin players will also think about this. Now, they will not think about it. Sunil Chetri, I don't think that there is any chance that there is any chance right now it's going to be very difficult in future also agar aayega to dekha jayega bro abhi to matlab aap i think next 4 5 years ke liye to bhul jao i don't think so ye bande ne itna try kiya fir bhi iske saath mein aisa matlab aisa hua hai to fir i don't think so yaar koi aur aana chahega and that's why the people are not coming to india yaar it's plain and simple this guy was in india for the last he's trying from one year to be honest he's in india for last 7 months but he's trying from one year so you can't understand the mindset everyone would have after reading three months story it's plain and simple that indians don't want oci card holders to be representing the national team it's plain and simple uh, i just hope the rule changes in coming years so that we get to you know uh, see people like Tan- triman ranveer and others who want to represent india in the future you know let's let's see yeah, let's see anyway right now it looks dark but in future let's see triman bhai are there any other indian indian origin players in belgium have you have you met any have you seen any uh- I mean, there are some that play, but I haven't seen anybody that plays against me or with me. I mean, uh, I have some friends that play football, but I mean, not particularly I've seen playing. Professionally, no, no I think, no. right? Hmm. Uh, you know, but the thing is, the first generation of immigrants that are there, they focus their kids on studying. Mm-hmm, yeah. I think the next generation that comes after that um, would be more relaxed and can focus on, this, on the game also. Because now, a lot of them are really smart and really focusing on the studies. And... Uh, that's normal with first, um, I think, first uh, child immigrants. Mm-hmm. So I think that's the reason behind it. That's why not a lot of Indian players are um, playing football. So, I mean, that could be the reason. Yeah. Is the same scenario in Belgium, like India? Like, first study, then play? <laughs> I mean, 
I think especially because their parents are first class, first generation immigrants and then they really want to, don't want the kids to do labor because they have to or they don't want the kids to get a job because they don't have like the diploma or the bachelor or anything yeah. coming to India, coming to Belgium. So they really want the kids to have like a good base and then maybe their kids after that, the next generation can have um, more time to uh, play football and do their job. But I think it's it's common sense. I think uh, Ranjit sir told me that this could be the main reason. But I'm luckily my father uh, has helped me a lot and really invested a lot of money and time in me. So I mean, I without him I wouldn't be here. So yeah. I'm always I, appreciated. I, I, I mean, father. I just I just forgot to ask your father last time we met. I seriously forgot because after I met him, uh, when I came, you can you can ask yeah. him. He's watching. No, when I came back home, I was like, yeah, I I forgot to ask one question. I I didn't I didn't want to ask you that question. I wanted to ask your father that question because I really wanted to document it. Ki bhai, uh, how did he? Like, I I have known many parents who let their child play, but they want their child to study first. They give a lot of importance to studies, but uh, I feel that your father was very cool with you regarding playing football. I think there was no load on you regarding studies. Till till what classes no, you did you not. go to college or like what till what? I um I finished my eleventh. I didn't couldn't finish my twelfth because I had to go overseas then. Mm. So I finished my eleventh. The um, you know the thing is I never was really focused on school. I mean I was really smart in the beginning. Um, I, I had really good points, everything scores also. But once I started playing footballer on a level that was higher and putting my focus there, my grades started to go down. But I mean I never focused on school because I always been a business. My father has been a businessman and we always had our own job and our own company. Mm. So I never was looking forward to doing a job for anybody else. I mean, I only future I realized when I was a footballer or working with my father and having my own business. Yeah. And therefore, you don't need any any schooling. And uh, <laughs> I was never really a big fan of the schooling system, curricular system. So yeah, I'm, I have my own business also with my father. And uh, we also run that. And uh, once I get back in my uh, Belgium, I will working hard with my father and training in the evening so that's what my year looks that's like that's nice so i'm really happy to help my father because now he's all alone in belgium and still supporting me and he has really difficulties but he doesn't t- tell yeah. me i heard i heard from my brother how difficult it's for yeah. him but he doesn't uh, know, want to worry me because but, of my own problem because when i so yeah once i get back i yeah, still remember i still remember the chat i had with him like he was very confident mm-hmm. and he has a lot of hope on you and surely he is he's a very strong man to be honest and i just wanted to ask him also if if i fail as a coach i would love if uh, you reserve a job for me i'm ready to work <laughs> so i i'm oh, i'm going <laughs> i'm going to send a cv to your dad <laughs> uh, uh yeah he did he did find it very difficult to play in india with that temperature like he mentioned in the first second uh, first, first two games he was uh, you know he was just lying on the floor i think so you were uh, yeah, i, I yeah, remember well, i remember that better. that second the second match you sent me videos and you were like bro it's very difficult to play in that time yeah bro it was so difficult yeah <laughs> uh, you have no idea yeah i mean, seriously I, I i i i have been playing you know just just a not a competitive game i, I just go to mm-hmm. the, the the there is a pitch uh, the name the name is pitch where we play 8v8 and 9v9s and i know i have got a tummy right now i'm not that fit but still you know running for 15 straight minutes i lay on the ground i'm like <laughs> i don't yeah. want to play anymore <laughs> bro any plans bro, to any play plans? in netherlands bro i already played one year in netherlands uh, last season before i came to india so in future maybe let's see if he gets yeah, chance in the eredivisie why not <laughs> we would Inshallah. have to see them <laughs> see him there uh yeah we are disappointed i am also disappointed uh, i have been always disappointed for some of the other reasons uh bhai bahut bhayankar player banna fir india tour marna sab dhage khol dena surely there will be isl clubs looking for him in the future just two three years if he hits the peak there will be many clubs coming in for a signature surely there is a chance in my opinion uh bro all the best for your future want to see in the top leagues yes 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 we do want to see you in the top leagues uh थ्रीमान भाई आप कुछ इयर्स बाद हैदर टॉप ओवरसीज प्लेयर्स आई एस एल ज्वाइन करना बेल्जियम के टॉप टायर लीग से तब आपकी प्राइस और वैल्यू भी ज्यादा होगी श्योरली श्योरली ज्यादा होगी ब्रो एंड आई थिंक आई थिंक ही कैन डू दैट ही कैन डू दैट इन द फ्यूचर या थ्रीमान गोज बाय दिस कोड आई थिंक सो ए पी जे देर इज देर इज अ कोड फ्रॉम ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम एंड दैट कोड से ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम ही वॉज अ प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया 
uh, and he he told in one of his quote okay that one sheet of paper can't define my future so <laughs> you are going by that uh clifford miranda right now is a okay mbs ka co- assistant coach ban chuka hai uh, Rao, yeah i for yeah and i am in still in a blank uh, situation right now bhai mujhe bhi ye scene abhi bhi pata chala hai thodi der pehle तो आई हैव नॉट बीन स्टडिंग अबाउट इट थोड़ी देर के बाद में या फिर मैं थोड़ा अपडेट दे सकता हूँ आपको डिस्काउंट पे अगर आप हो तो त्रिमान भाई डू योर बेस्ट मेक ऑल ऑल द स्टबन इंडियन पॉलिटिशियंस रिग्रेट फॉर रिजेक्टिंग यू आई जस्ट आई जस्ट रियली वॉन्ट वेन यू स्टार्ट प्लेइंग फुटबॉल बैक अगेन हैज अ कॉम्पिटेटिव फुटबॉल स्पेशली वेन इट्स लाइव स्ट्रीम्ड और समथिंग लाइक दैट वी वुड लव टू शेयर योर वीडियोज एंड स्टफ कीपिंग माई फादर वी एव बोथ कैमरा सो कम डाउन एंड I watch and uh, record the videos. I uh, also have one other person in mind uh, that can do that. Um, yeah. Don't worry. So that's that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, Triman, bro, you failed to play for India, but you gained our respect. We will always remember you for your efforts and love for the country. And this is what we love, bhai. Thank you so much, Satyajay Bunia, bhai. Uh, Behuria, bhai. Sorry. Uh, it means a lot I for Triman. I didn't fail. And... India failed me. I think it's ah. good. <laughs> yeah. 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 But yeah, we 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 got his point. Ah, uh, ba. Ah, uh, bhai, ap Triman, ah, uh, bhai, Belgium. फुटबॉल टीम के लिए खेल सकते हैं क्या आई थिंक यस ऑफ कोर्स ही हैज द बेल्जियम पासपोर्ट इफ ही ही कैन ही हैज एन ऑप्शन टू प्ले टू इंप्रूव अ लॉट एंड बट आई मीन हैज टू इंप्रूव अ लॉट यस बट बट स्टिल लेट्स सी त्रिमान भाई ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर फ्यूचर होप वी विल गेट टू गेट यू सून या श्योरली वी वी आर वेटिंग फॉर दैट इफ यू लिव इन इंडिया फॉर 5 इयर्स मे बी यू कैन गेट इंडियन सिटीजनशिप एंड प्ले फॉर इंडिया सुन पवन आनंद भाई तब तक क्या करेंगे फिर That's the biggest question, bro. Five years, five years, can't play. Five years, can't play. What will they do? What will they do? It's not Kalam. It was Edison. Okay, it was Edison, not Kalam. Okay. <laughs> misquoted. <laughs> misquoted again. Sunil, brother, misquoted again. AIFF needs to reach out to a Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji to change the policy initiated by Sports Ministry and Government of India in 2008, which permits OCI's NRIs to play for India. Rishikesh, brother. अगर इतना ही इंटरेस्ट होता तो कर देते यार अभी तक चेंज इन लोगों को इंटरेस्ट नहीं अभी मोदी मोदी इज गोना डू शिट ब्रो इज ही सी इज गोइंग टू फ्रांस ही इज डूइंग हिज स्टफ देयर टू बी ऑनेस्ट मोरोक्कन किड्स आर टेकिंग ओवर एट बेल्जियम एंड सम अदर यूरोपियन फुटबॉल कंट्रीज एंड दैट्स बिकॉज़ दे हैव गॉट गुड टैलेंट दे हैव गॉट गुड टैलेंट दे वर्क हार्डर देन द द लोकल्स ओवर देयर इन माय ओपिनियन बिकॉज़ यू कैन सी इन यूएई आल्सो देयर आर मेनी पीपल हु आर फ्रॉम सूडान हु आर फ्रॉम इथोपिया हु आर फ्रॉम अफ्रीकन कंट्रीज who have got their passport over here they are working too hard more hard than the ue locals over here and that's why they are getting placed in the you know national teams all the best to triman and uh, and future of football yeah all the best bro uh, <laughs> uh triman bhai aap india ke liye khelo aur world cup jeeto <laughs> uh paaji all the best playing in belgium hope we see you soon back in india Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah, okay. uh, we will end this live stream very soon uh, because I know you have to sleep, then you have to wake up very early and stuff like that. Before yeah. before going, I just want uh, to get a few of your memories. I mean, like seriously, what were the best memories of you playing in India, staying in India, the food, the people, everything? Getting to know my culture more. I mean, I really. Matured the last six months. I mean, knowing where I come from, where my father comes from, and just getting reality check. But what the main thing the other guys told me, and uh, because once they knew a foreigner is going to start living with them, when the guy, I shared my room with them, they thought I was going to be like, I'm going to be like different towards them, or going to think I'm on a pedestal and just going to be like not 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 nice towards them. But actually, I could mix with the normal guys, like the Indian guys. Like I was Indian, so I mean, I could mix with anybody. I'm don't I'm I'm not that kind of person that uh, thinks he's better than anybody else. Doesn't matter who I am and uh, what I do. And I mean, they were really impressed, and they said I really did not expect you being like this and being this down to earth with anybody. So I mean, I really matured and I learned a lot. And I mean, the sacrifice I've made and um, the time I've spent here away from my family it was really difficult. And I think the people I speak on a daily basis know that, but I try not to show it too much. But I mean, it's a point where I cannot hide it much longer, and um, I have to make a decision which is best for me personally. But what I learned from India is, um, it sometimes doesn't go your way, even though if you try your best. I mean, sometimes 
God has other things in store for you. And um, I mean, let's see what happens. But uh, it's always uh, been a pleasure coming to India and uh, all the people that supported me and um, all the fans, everything. So it has been a really, really big honor. I want to thank everybody from the bottom from my heart for all the support, all the messages. And uh, hopefully I see yeah, everybody uh, soon. By the way, you, have, you came to India with uh, a few fans, I think so. No, like, you, yeah, you came to India yeah, with a man. few followers of you and suddenly we are, when you are going back, you have got lots of fr- friends, a lot of fans also, a lot of good well-wishers also, right? So it's it's a great, it's a, it, it's been a great tour to you also, right? Even though you didn't get game time over here, but still you got lots of friends, you got lots of fans, you got lots of, uh, you know, good people in your life like me. <laughs> so that's a great thing <laughs> that happened to you, uh, I would say. Um, yeah. There, there was a question. Uh, I'm not an HR, but I would love to ask you this. Where do you see yourself in two years? <laughs> now, now this is this is a question. This is a question oh, which is asked in an interview when you go for a job. <laughs> but still, I would love to ask you this. Bro, uh, I mean, it depends on <laughs> India does what. <laughs> it depends on a lot of things. I mean, or I play first uh, team somewhere in Belgium or I play somewhere in yeah. India. Uh, bro, I think you don't have to leave for five years. Just hold on to the OCI card for five. You have your OCI card, right? Yeah, I only have it two yeah, years. Yeah, so, so you don't have to stay, more. but I think... But yeah. I mean, what I think, it doesn't make sense, bro. I mean, it doesn't make any sense, bro. If you have OCI card, you have the one year yeah, or two know, years. It's different. Yeah, it's like you sell an overseas. That, that, that's the rules, you know. That's the rule. I don't know exactly why the government put in the rules like that, but yeah, it's the rules right now. But I think I think you don't have to live in India yeah. for five years. But it's like you have to hold that card for five years, right? Yeah. So in 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 the three years time, yeah, I yeah, mean, it's gonna take three years time. Two, you years. can come back to India, yeah. and you know, let's see, let's hope for the best, man. Uh, the future. Anyways, anyways, you are just what twenty right now, nineteen twenty right now. So I would say, yeah. 19, yeah, 19, when you are, just 19, when you are 23, I would say yeah. you will be more technical, good. You will be more uh, better at football. Surely you'll be having a good build. Your CV will be very Let's good. See. You can come back, slay the ISL, get back into the international team, and you can have fun, man. Seriously. And let's see. Let's let's hope for the best. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. This is the right thing to say. Your nation works 100% at the success, but in other countries, they work 500%. That's a fact. Uh, it's okay, Shehkar Bhai. Thank you for joining. Uh, Timan Bhai, hoping to see you soon in India. Team very soon. Yeah, we are all about, you know, we are all waiting for that. Uh, yeah, you have been you have been seeing the World Cup badge very closely. So how do you feel about yeah. that? What do you think? Amazing, amazing quality. Pure quality. Yeah. They are so good. Uh, we won against them, but barely. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I so mean, good, like, yeah. seriously, they, they, uh, the hype is real. I mean, like, uh, because so many people are still thinking that they won Gothia Cup just because the teams, the opponents were not that good. But the reality, we know exactly how the opponents were. But like you have been the closest right now to the you know, to the Minerva team. So you think they have good quality and they are very technically yeah, I mean, sound? You're, you're solid. Bro, they're technically so good. I mean, they're small and fast and pacey and just uh, agile. So they're really good quality. Great team. No complaint. Mm. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, so before going, you want to say, say something for a few words to the people who are watching you. Around ninety people are watching you right now. So what exactly want you want to say? I would like to say thank you to everybody who's joining me this uh, evening and uh, Musabai. I mean, it's been a pleasure and a great talk uh, with you again. And uh, it always has been and it always will be. So uh, <laughs> I really appreciate everybody being here and uh, family, friends, fans, everybody and. Uh, yeah, I mean, just keep supporting me in Belgium. I hope you guys keep faith in me and just uh, follow me around the whole world. And uh, hopefully once uh, we meet each other again in uh, India. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much, uh, Thriman, for joining this stream right now. It's like, just like a podcast where I really wanted to talk to you. And it was like, let's let's live stream it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Instead yeah, of talking offline. No just, yeah. yeah, exactly. So th- it was really a good time talking to you. And it's always a good time that when we talk offline, when we are talking on WhatsApp also, it's like very fun to talk with you. I just hope in future you get good game time, you get a good team and, you know, you perform to your best. So all the best for your future, bhai. Thank you so much for joining today. Thank you, I'll bro. see you again. Bye-bye. So guys, everyone, thank you so much for joining today. It's a live stream because... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Sankhya Deep, bhai. <laughs> and uh, yeah, jo log bhi jude the, and I hope you go to Thriman Ranveer's Instagram hai and Twitter and follow him there. Surely, a 
मैसेज हैज ए बोलो बिडिंग गुड बाय एक मैसेज आप डाल देना जरूर बिकॉज ही डिजर्व इट मैन ही रियली डिजर्व इट एंड ऑल्सो आई थिंक सो प्लेयर्स लाइक दिस आर वेरी रेयर हु विल गिव दियर पासपोर्ट एंड कम टू इंडिया एंड कि भाई अपने देश को रिप्रेजेंट करना चाहेंगे बिकॉज ही इज जस्ट नाइनटीन भाई अभी भी उसके आगे इलेवन ट्वेल्थ थर्टीन फोर्टीन गुड ईयर्स बाकी है अभी भी फुटबॉल खेलना बहुत लंबी उस लंबा उसका सफर होने वाला है आगे बट यार सीरियसली ही केम हियर ही ट्राई टू डू वॉट्स राइट बट अगेन द गवर्नमेंट डिडेंट हेल्प हिम द ए आई एफ डिडेंट हेल्प हिम इट्स इट्स ओके यार रूल्स ऐसे हैं रूल्स को मेंट किया नहीं जा सकता बट क्या ही कर सकते राइट सो जस्ट गो टाइप इन अ मैसेज फॉर हिम ऑन ट्विटर और इंस्टाग्राम वेर एवर यू फॉलो हिम इट विल मेक हिम फील गुड एंड थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग टूडे स्ट्रीम भाई लोग आप मुझे इंस्टाग्राम पे आप मुझे ट्विटर पे फॉलो कर सकते हो आज थोड़ी सी कम स्ट्रीम रखी है बिकॉज आई एम ऑल्सो एग्जॉस्टेड फ्रॉम वर्क एंड यार एशियाड का संकेत भाई कल एशियाड के स्कॉड के बारे में हम लोग बात करेंगे थोड़े से क्वेश्चन है एंड थोड़े से आंसर है जो मैं देना चाहूंगा आपको लोगों को भी तो जाने से पहले भाई ये स्ट्रीम को लाइक जरूर कर you can follow me on instagram you can follow me on twitter also check out the discord football aise hi indian football ko next time jai hind aur jai bharat see you tomorrow guys kal thodi thi badi stream hogi and bahut se cheeze hain kal jo hum log discuss karne wale hain thank you so much